there's two ways that algorithms are able to better predict what it is that humans are going to click on. One is to be able to become increasingly accurate at working out what it is that Jeffrey's going to press on his phone, right? Like that, this is, uh, I, I get closer and closer toward your preferences and I deliver to you things which are tighter and tighter aligned to what that is until it's a perfect overlay like this. That's the first one. The second one is that the algo nudges your preferences so that you become more predictable. And this bi-directional relationship, because this is the crazy thing about any kind of optimizing function, right? It's like, get people to click. Yeah. Okay, well, you're not saying how, it's just going to do a thing until it works out. And this is how you get, uh, was it move 14 in that Lee Sudong Go game? Uh, where yeah, oh yeah. no one could actually yep. work out. Yep. So why did you do that? It's so you, the reward system. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, you yeah. you yeah. can't. You get these sort of really orthogonal moves that nobody could have predicted. And one of them would be, well, you can become better at predicting what the user wants, or you can make the user more predictable. Yeah. And the fact that algorithms are reprogramming users. Human beings have dark thoughts. <laughs> You know, it's <laughs> little little human beings, medium shock, human beings, horror. old human beings. Yeah. We do have dark, you know, dark thoughts, and you know this will send you down the rabbit.